So I tried drawing curls, which didn't really work out, as you can see. I'm gonna have to try that again sometime. So I've been posting quite a few things on the community tab. Ugh. It's too big. <laughs> on the community tab on my channel. I don't know how you can ac access this. I just access it. I just go on my channel and then you know, there's like the community tab. But I'm pretty sure you get a notification. Or at least a few of my post notifications on you probably get a notification. And I've been posting a few things there. The last thing I posted asked you guys if you had any movie suggestions. Uh, supernatural creatures like Percy Jackson, Vampire Assistant. Like kind of like this these supernatural creatures. Um, not a lot of people answered, but I think one comment was pretty funny because I asked, like Percy Jackson, and someone answered Percy Jackson. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> to be fair, I have not seen Percy Jackson yet. If you do, or in the comments on this video. That's the design I made for the window. How, that's the thing. How big can I make the window? Because in this design, I mean like a simple window, it doesn't matter. But it already looks like they're living in a cave. Because it looks like this tiny little window in the back of the room. And I don't know, I feel like it looks like they're in a cave. There's like only one window available in the room. Either I make, like, I want the window to be there and not like above the beds really. So like two windows in there. So how do i how do i do this well in theory if you have the window in the middle of the room instead of above the beds then in theory mm -hmm. i mean they're in the middle of the woods okay but like theory then they have to change in the bathroom because people are gonna see through the window right no one's gonna see them they're yeah, in the wood theory because i i personally don't change in front of a window no matter if there's anyone who could see me or not seriously yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta think about that. There's t there's already two people in the room. Yeah, but so like, it's they, like can, they can be close enough to cha change in front of each other, you know? I mean, they could have curtains if they want to. It's not like you gotta go on the balcony and change there. Like So this is the, the closet, thing. yeah, the closet. And that's the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom is right adjacent with the bed, right? Like no, there's, no there's a little in space in between. Because there's two people living here and there's a desk. What's the desk for? Well, what's the desk for when you go into a hotel room? There's always a desk. Well, sometimes there's just there's just like a small table or something. You well, know? they're all in I'm the thinking, in school still. I'm thinking you could maybe put a table in between here and the bed, or there, like make a bigger window or even a balcony door or something like that. Because if it's a old hotel, there's a pretty fair chance that there's balconies, you know. Or at least a full-size window. That'll make it look less like... Like a, a, like a big, big window. Yeah, like a tall window. Because you can't really put any windows on the other walls because yeah. there's other rooms. Yeah, there's, it's connected. So that's the only wall that can have a window. Exactly. And it's not a huge wall, so you kind of have to do with what you have, you know? I mean, you could, like, do one big window like that and, like, two smaller windows like that, you know? Above the bed. Then you'll have, like, maximum daylight. I mean, does the layout of the room even make sense? Like, if you were to come into a hotel room... But... Well, well, you have to think about that. This is not like a typical hotel room. Like they're they're living there, you know. So it's not gonna be laid out like a normal hotel room. And since they have like yeah, I mean they can have like stuff on the walls and stuff like that. Yeah, and and since they're like it's more like a dorm room mm -hmm. layout because they're living there. I feel like it's better that it's like apart like that. So everyone has like half the room pretty much and has their space in there. And that's why I put the desk in the middle because it like it makes most sense with it being there instead of being on one side because then you know she already has the or they ha this part has already the bathroom this part has the closet and then there's just a desk and if i take away the desk and there's just a window it's kind of weird like you feel like i feel like if you were in this room try to imagine you're in this room mm -hmm. and you're laying in this bed and there's just the window here you kind of feel like you're dropping out of your bed you know what i mean like because there's nothing in between it's kind of weird i mean the closet and the bathroom already make for a certain symmetry in there even though they're not the same thing mm -hmm. and if they have one desk they have to share that desk they both go to school they have to take it in turns to do homework yeah which sucks which is like that in every dorm room though no most dorm rooms just have both parties have a desk which is why i'm thinking if you put a table here with a chair and a table here with a chair then they can both do their homework in peace you know imagine if they have an essay to write well no one's doing homework problems. in this show okay okay like, we're not talking homework Homework. That's like it's a desk like in every hotel room is always like a desk situation And most of the time there's there's like a big desk to work on if with your fucking laptop or whatever you're doing There's always a desk 
Because you don't do a room without a desk if I you're going to stay there. I mean, we didn't there. have a desk. We, we had, had a like desk. A, we had like a round table with two armchairs. And then we had this sideboard situation. It wasn't a sideboard. It was a desk. It was a full-on desk. It was a, a whole, a whole there desk. There wasn't even a chair for that thing. It was. I was even sitting at it. We were watching a movie. I was sitting at it. Um, I was just chilling there the whole time. It was the full-on desk. I don't know. I feel like I haven't... I haven't been to many hotels. Mm -hmm. I've seen many hotels in, in, in people's videos or whatever, and they always have a desk, but it's one desk because you're, the theory is you're staying in this room for a few nights, maybe one night. So no one, it's not a dorm room mm -hmm. still, you know, you're, you have your stuff. This is what the size of the room is. No one needs to have a huge room for one night, you know? This is just normal rooms. So that, that outline there, that faded one is the door, right? Yeah, to that's the, the, the door. That's where the door is. So what if you put the desk here? Because then you can put like small bedside tables and still have the big window. All right, I'm gonna draw this out. Good luck. All right, so I worked a little bit on more on the rooms. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the beds aligned differently, like depending on the room. I also think I'm gonna put the closet into the wall. Uh, so it's more like an American closet instead of like standing in the middle of the room. Yeah, so I put like blinds on the windows. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the shape of the windows. We're gonna see how it looks, how the house is gonna look from outside. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna keep that shape, but I like the blinds already, the situation. It's pretty nice. I want the entire room to be carpeted. And then there's tiles here and all over the walls, obviously. A uh, shower curtain, which I didn't want to draw because I was gonna cover everything. A uh, one desk, and I think I'm gonna add a bookshelf to every room if I can. So I completed this thing. So I drew the floor plan on a separate piece of paper. I First I did this one, which was just roughly and really not proportional at all. Like the rooms are in the same size and whatever. So I made another floor plan that is a little more accurate. I'm gonna ink that one once it's like finished. This is actually the, the, the it's like not ground floor, it's the first floor. So I'm gonna explain what you see here. First things first, this is the front door. So you come in and then you have like a little space here. And then you have the second door and then there's the lobby. Because remember, it's a hotel. And then you have these staircases on both sides. It goes like underneath here. And then there's like this balcony area here. And there's two couches, a um, table and you know, whatever. And then you go here and then you, this is the door. Oops. I'm never filming what I'm looking at. So here's the door. Right here you have the bathroom. I don't know if that's all proportionately accurate. Uh, might have to re-look at that because I think that everything is fine bit, but the door is a little too big. I don't know. We'll see. So this is the bathroom. I thought I'd put both all the bathrooms like back to back to each other because that's what they would do in real hotels, right? So they only have to run the plumbing here. And then there's just the wall. Here's one closet that comes out and then those other ones are like in a smart way so that this is the closet for here and this is the closet for this room so it's like in the wall so all the rooms are like mirrored basically and the same goes on on that side yeah so I'm st i still have to do the floor plan for the first floor i don't or the ground floor basically i don't really know what i'm gonna put there probably a restaurant and like another lobby area like right here it's probably just gonna be a lobby and then maybe a kitchen thing here and whatever whatever we'll see that yeah maybe i'll put some vending machines up here i don't know because i don't really know if i'm gonna if i should treat it like an old hotel and it's still like a hotel or if I should treat it like this used to be a hotel but now it's not anymore at all and we're just making this our home. I don't really know what I should do with that. We'll see. I have no idea what's happening right now. I tried opening Vegas to edit and my mouse is not moving at all. The cursor is moving around the screen and I can't open anything. The entire thing is just bugged up. Like it's been like this for a few minutes now. I don't know what's, when, what's happening. Oh stop moving it's so weird like it moves uh, like i'm not moving it anymore i just move it and it, like does this it's so weird right it's kind of freaky like come on dude so i bought this kneadable eraser a few mm, weeks back it works really well when it's like really cold in my room and it's really hard which is really then it works pretty nice if i have it like in a warm room or i've been holding it for a long time like it's a little harder to use also it kind of i don't know it's like sticky and you feel it being sticky to the 
touch. But when you touch your fingers, it's not sticky anymore, which is so weird to me. But also, I'm like really glad because I used to have a needable eraser, like a really, really, really cheap one. And it was not like this one. It was really bad. And you would literally have like super sticky hands, which I can't have that like, yo, I don't know if that's the best one out there, but it's, it was the only one in the little art supply store I have around. So, although the thing is like, you would think that I could stop like doing this with my hand but i can't it's like in my brain i can't stop doing that which do like why am i using this if i still do that you know and i can't use it for i cannot i can't use it for small things because it's just like it just bends you know what i mean like if i try to use it for really small stuff like let's say here like it just does this see like i can't really erase anything like that so, I don't know. Alright, so I started my computer and restarted my computer and it's working now. So, we're gonna... I'm gonna edit this now. I got myself a new sketch pad. You know, it works, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna end this now because, you know, there's no way, no reason for me to keep this going. And I'll see you next week on Sunday. Oh, by the way, happy second of Advent, you know? And yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much... Uh, bye!